Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are here once again playing NASCAR Heat 5 and today we're going to start the Xfinity Series. A little bit different to start this way but there's a truck race and cup race on the same day. Uh, so that's a little bit interesting. So Xfinity gets to go first instead of truck so here we go I guess. Uh, Racing is Austin Cindric here, Texas Motor Speedway. All right, to the green. This will be quite fun. Really ready to uh, just you know see what we can do out here on the track. Of course, this is our one qualifying lap. This is all we got. And so let's see what we got. Basically, is what I'm getting at. Through the turn three and four here. And we're going to come off the corner. Let's see what we can do. 30 seconds is the lap that we want to get. All right, 31. One second off 17th overall. Let's see what we can do. Of course, it's not the first time we raced Texas Motor Speedway this weekend. Or this week. Um, of course, we'll be racing it throughout the weekend. Tomorrow with Double the trucks in Xfinity Series. But we raced ready. Texas in... Project Cars 2 with the road course on the uh, infield here, so a little bit different of a vibe here, but we already sort of technically raced Texas, so it's a whole Texas weekend, I guess. And of course, we raced um, Series of America, it's another track in Texas, so it's just been a Texas racing weekend. Absolutely wild. And we're going quick here, we're going to the front, absolutely. Lawless. We're trying to get that similar vibe that we got in uh, Kansas with the mile and a half. We pulled off something very, very similar to that. Of course, we did not secure the win in the Xfinity Series or the Truck Series, and that we did get that win in the Cup Series. It's all that same vibe. Just go until the tires sort of wear out, and then you can start getting a good run going. But I don't know how much the tires are going to wear out here compared to what they did in Kansas, but still, just get in that good run. Hope for some tire wear and see what we can do through the field. Because we had a pretty good launch. Hug this bottom white line is what we did at Kansas. It's a little bit different of a layout of the track, obviously. The trioval section's a little bit more of a straight line with two little mini turns compared to Kansas, where it's just sort of like one giant sweeping turn on the front straight. This here has like two very, very faint little turns to a straightaway. So it's a little bit different than what you see at Kansas. So really there's only two different styles of mile and a half tracks pretty much. Uh, you have the ones Texas, Charlotte, Atlanta. They have all the same vibe. And you got kind of your Kansas, Chicagoland, Kentucky, that kind of vibe. So it's interesting to sort of see the difference in the two. But we did good there at that race. Actually, I think we won a stage. Stage two, I believe, we got the dub. So we'll see. I'm gonna have to drive fairly similar. So we'll hope we can make something happen here. See, now the tires are starting to wear out a little bit. We got 72% left in that tire, so hopefully maybe around the go, go, go. the outside here in some of these turns, we sort of make some make some gains here. Five more laps. Get this car hooked up, and we got the a little bit of the tire where we slide through these corners on the high side here. Clear. This bit is where I sort of want to be. I think that's a brilliant spot to be on the track right there. Semi-teammate Chase Briscoe in front of me now. Of course, technically Austin Cindric and Chase Briscoe are not teammates, but they consider themselves teammates all the time, of course. Being the only two Ford drivers in the field, they're going to do that. So, semi-teammates. Ooh, we went wide, we went wide, we went wide. Not what you want to do up into the wall there. Still 
see if we sort of start to make some momentum here on the high side once again. The leader, Brennan Jones, is up there. So we'll see what we can do with that information, knowing he's taking that lane. At least in three and four, he did. There we go. Anthony Alfredo there to the outside. We're going to get by him. Now we're behind Harrison Burton. Big run behind him. I'm actually just going to let the car roll. Stay along the bottom. Seems to be working a little bit better for me here at this track, at least. Uh, maybe it didn't work as well at Kansas, but here it seems to be the better spot to run. Higher lanes of Texas are not working out for us as expected. So here we go. Along the bottom, trying to chase down Chastain. Chastain. Good job. Oh, we got way on the bottom of that. Don't be there. Caution's going to come out of that. We're going to finish ninth in that stage. I was hoping somebody was not going to be there, but... There was Harrison Burton right there when we came on the track. Out here. Have a good day. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, well. That was all because I just got a little bit on the apron there. Slightly hit that. All clear. That just sent us way up the track. Alfredo tries to pull in front of us, so we're not going to allow that to happen. Try to stay here in fourth place behind Ross Chastain. Can we do it? I think we can. Let's see if we can dive to the inside of Chastain and Briscoe in this corner. It's a little bit wide, a little bit ambitious. But we're going to stick there. Stay behind Chastain. Push from Alfredo by Briscoe now. 14 to go behind Chastain now. A little bit on the apron there. Just again that time overdoing it on that line here we go behind Briscoe now in fourth place and we are struggling all of a sudden here to sort of keep pace with the three lead cars we were right there behind Chastain a second ago and now we're dropping back just a little bit we gotta stop getting on that apron we gotta stop doing that that's really hurting our corners. Briscoe goes up high. That's telling me potentially there's speed up there. Which it gives you a massive run on the back straight. So we're going to go here sort of midline here along this dotted line. And I'm just going to hope that we can follow Briscoe sort of on these higher lanes here. And hopefully when these tires start to wear out, maybe we can make something happen with that. Because I'm, I'm confident that we can. So we have a push here from Ryan Sieg into the corner. Because again, it's just trying to stay out of the wall, basically. You just got to let the gas just a little, little bit. Get back to the gas a lot earlier and we start to build speed off this corner. So you do that, we got a little bit of a loose race car in the corner, which is nice. I like to have that. Didn't let off enough there, so we're, we're dropping position, but it's not going to say strategic, but it kind of is at the same time. Because I feel like I can sort of run this higher higher lane. We're going to take a little bit lower here, though, with the draft through this corner. We're going to just, you know, take it while it's there. But go. with 10 laps to go here at Texas... I'm hoping that we take this higher line, give us a good run off this corner, and hopefully we can start to you know, track down some of these cars that have passes and are ahead of us. Of course, we're banking on the fact of just, you know, being in a spot where we can make these passes. You know, we're banking on running through some of these tires a little bit and hopefully get into a spot where it's, you know, doable to catch back up. We can't have that kind of corner we just had there. That corner will not work for us to do anything here at Texas. 
Midline here. We're going to see Sieg get a better run on us on the outside, potentially. No, he will not there. Just slightly off the gas. You hear it there for just a second, me letting off. I'm sliding up the track. I'm going on the wall here. Will that actually going to kind of work for us? Kind of not work? Um... I don't know. Yeah, this strategy is not working at running up those tires. Like, it's just. It's not working. The car feels decent, though, so I'm actually going to stay out. Take the lead here in Texas. And try to just run with that. Um, that's going to be my bet here. Four laps. Of course, everyone's going to be on newer tires than me, but. I'm hopeful that I can get a good run through some of these corners. We get a good start here. Let's see if we can sort of keep this going. Of course, they're going to be coming at us very, very quickly. Quite quickly. So we just got to try and do what we can do. Get where we can get positions made up. Track positions very, very key. So... Being in the front here with a few laps to go is what I want. I mean, I want this spot. And again, on these worn out tires, I feel like I can drive pretty well, so. I'm confident in making this work. If that tire can hold on for two more laps, I think we can win here in Texas. Fuel wise, I'm close too. Bring her in. You're low on gas. Fuel wise, we're close. Tire wise, we're close. See what we can do here. Alright, so it says one lap there. So, that's good. We can make that work. I'm running absolutely flat out. Final lap around Texas in the Xfinity Series. What can we do with this lead? How far ahead are we? We are 0.9 seconds ahead. Almost a second ahead of Brennan Jones, who's absolutely dominated this race. Brennan Jones has dominated this entire race. Tires really starting to give up there. Fuel ran out as we crossed the line, but we're going to win in Texas. Let's go. Win in Texas in the Xfinity Series. Absolutely brilliant. My tire strategy kind of worked out. I mean, I thought I was going to pass everybody. Um, that late caution put us in a spot where we were going to pit, and we risked staying out. I mean, for me... It works and we get a win. It doesn't work and we, you know, fall back to 10th or 15th. You know, we ran in about between 6th and 9th all day. So, you know, 6th and 10th really is kind of where we're chilling. So, back half of the top 10. So, you know, for me, it really wasn't that much of a loss if I fell back that far. I mean, I honestly didn't expect to stay out front. I thought, okay, maybe do a lap or two and I'll get past, but... Build the gap and make it work. So, my my thoughts on new tires worked then, or my thoughts on the older tires really running well. But I thought couldn't stay out there on the old tires myself because was my thing. I thought, okay, I'm gonna win old tires. I can really like wheel this car around when it's loose, when it doesn't have much grip. But I, I did not expect that to happen. I really thought, okay, we're gonna come out here, maybe make up some spots. But the fact of what we did very impressive. One of the laps up for Brennan Jones of 28 or whatever it was. Very unfortunate for him there, but we got the win. That's what we are here for.